Are you excited? What are you excited about? <laughs> Gotta feel me! 2.30, baby, won't you meet me by the beat? Early, baby, later, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Windy city, don't need to see it soon. 30 degrees, way too cold, so hold me down. Good morning, y'all. It is Vlogtober. It's day five. My name is Donisha Unique. Welcome to my channel, y'all. I got this filter on because when I'm sick, my eyes are purple, my lips are purple. Like I look bad, so I had to throw a filter on. Um, but as I'm talking, it's moving. It is. <laughs> y'all see it? <laughs> Anyways. We up, it's early. I gotta go upstairs. I gotta change. I gotta uh I will just throw some pajamas up all the way. So that way I can get my baby up so I can kinda record our morning and record just like what we be doing. Um so that way y'all can see it. And we have a lot of stuff to do today, so I'm just gonna take y'all with me. Hopefully I can record. I just be so busy moving from one thing to another, it'd be hard, but I will definitely, definitely try to take y'all with me. Um I got to go switch cars with Ralph because he left earlier. He took the car. I got to switch cars because the dealership is coming to get that car. I'll go in detail about that later. Um, but they're bringing me another car. And then um, I have to go to my best friend's new building for one of her companies. It's just a long day. I got to do all this before 2 o'clock. Then I have to come back home. It's just a lot. And I'm sick. Like, I'm sick sick. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's go upstairs. Let's get Ryder ready for school. And let's pray he don't give me a hard time. I'll see y'all in a minute. So, Ryder refused to sleep in his room. So, we put a bed in our room. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Hey. Good morning. How you doing? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. I got to tell you a secret. Hurry up. Come on. It's important. Come on. You ready to go to school? You slept halfway off the bed? Hmm? Y'all, don't please don't mind my bar not ready. It's not done. That's decor. My room not finished, so don't be paying attention to my background. Ryder, are you excited? What are you excited about? Bless you. Come on. Time to get dressed. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh It's time to get dressed, bro. Stop playing. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Huh? Okay. Go get that hook. All right, I'm going to see you when I get off, okay? Okay. Come on. Come on. Why not? You don't want to be smart? No. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I'm about to go. You're going to have to stay here by yourself. No. See you later. Stay here on me. Nope. Bye.
I'ma hit this drink up like it's my last Last, last Play it up like it's my last Last, last Oh, y'all. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah. y'all. Okay. Hold on, y'all probably can't see me. Mm, here we go. All right, so, yeah, we didn't drive right off at school. Now, I have to go. Okay, basically, so... Let me just let y'all know what's going on. I'm sick. I don't know how I got sick. I was perfectly fine yesterday, as y'all saw. During the story time, I woke up this morning and I was like spitting up mucus and all that good stuff, whatever. But the show must go on. I got multiple things to do. So I'm just gonna have to push through it. Like, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm about to go. So this is what happened this morning. So the dealership called me. I called them because like two weeks ago, I um I had got my car out the shop and my car was at the dealership. So basically the engine blew on my Cadillac. And I it was they were telling me like it was out of warranty and all this stuff. If anybody know anything about warranties, please like write in my inbox because I do have a lot of questions. Anybody who know anything about like GM and their warranty and stuff or if they even work there. So, and this is why I'm about to say this. So basically, um, I got the car like three years ago, and three or four years ago, and you know it's the, it was the bumper to bumper warranty on there. So the warranty only be good for like, I think it'd be like 100,000 miles, three years or something like that. So the warranty was, I only drove like 30,000 miles on that car, cause I, I don't really drive that much. Well, I don't drive that car that much, but I, um, so the, it wasn't out of warranty by mileage, but it was out of warranty by time. And I had been telling them previously, like, you know, something's wrong with this car, this car not right. I kept telling them all this stuff. I kept telling them, kept telling them, kept telling them. And they kept saying like, no, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Like, it's just the turbo engine or some junk they kept telling me and whatever. Make a long story short, the engine was blown. Um, I started the car up like a month and a half ago and white smoke started coming out. So I, you know, instantly got it delivered to the, to the dealership, delivered. <laughs> I got it towed to the dealership, got it towed to the dealership. Make a long story short again, then they called me engine was blown. They said they wanted $14,001 to fix this engine. Y'all know me. Y'all know Dionisha was not paying nobody no $14,000 to fix no engine. If that is the case, I could just go and buy the car. So I called the warranty company. I was arguing back and forth with them. They end up paying $7,500 for the engine. I end up coming out of They pay half. Um, they pay half. To make a long story short. So they pay $7,500. I pay like $7,339.80 to be exact. <laughs> Um, so now the car has been like jerking and like it's just riding real stupid. And so I called them yesterday, like, you know, this car not right. So they called me and said they was coming to get the car. They was bringing me a loaner. The problem is it's Ralph took the car. So now I have to go where Ralph is and I have to go switch cars with him, give him the truck, take the car, and I have to go run to, my best friend got a new tax office. Um, so I gotta go run to her office cause I'm helping her decorate everything. Um, so, you know, I gotta get her together. So I'm running over there so I can get pictures of it so I can know, you know, what I wanna order for her tax office and you know, all that good stuff. So we doing that and it is now 11.01. As y'all see, it's 11.01. I got to do all this because they come in to pick the car up at 2 o'clock. <laughs> so I got to go and I'm and I'm, I'm out. I got to go like towards the city. Then I got to go to Taylor. I got to go towards Detroit to Detroit. Then I have to go to Taylor. Then I have to go to Plymouth, Michigan. Then I have to come back to Macomb all before 2 o'clock. And I still got to stop at Best Buy because I bought some uh, memory cards from Best Buy and 
bro, the memory card was the wrong one, and I bought two of them, and I bust these packs open, but they better give back my $38, or Best Buy gonna have a problem with their hands. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing today, y'all. So, as y'all see, I got my baby up, got him off to school. Now, we about to go handle our business. I'm gonna take y'all with me today. So today, it's just basically, like I said, it's just a day in my life. Stuff I be doing. Um, I work later on this afternoon, but right now, we are just taking care of stuff. Oh, and I gotta do something for my mama too. Well, she gonna kill me, because I told her I was doing it yesterday and I didn't do it. Um, and then she texted me this morning and I didn't text her back. And I know she know I seen it because my messages say red when people text me. I need to take that off. So yeah, that's it y'all. So I'm gonna see y'all in a minute because I feel real ugly. I feel like I look ugly. Oh, and this morning I was painting my countertops <laughs> in my bathroom. So I woke up this morning I dropped my son off at school. I went home and I painted my countertops black because I didn't like the way they look. Um, so I did that this morning. So I, I just gotta put the clear coat on there now. Like multiple clear coats, uh, just to make sure that it's protected. So I did that too. So I'm gonna show y'all that, but that's gonna be in the vlog for my kitchen update so y'all can see like I completely transferred my kitchen and all that stuff. And that's all, I'm gonna stop talking because I talk too much and y'all know I go on and on and on and on forever. So. I gotta go because I'm looking real Kermit the Frogish. Mm. All right, y'all. So I'm back. Um, I'm irritated. Do y'all know? Okay, look. You know when you call somebody and you say, "Hey, I'm on my way." You make plans, and then they know that you'll be there in 30 minutes okay or 40 minutes or an hour or whatever the case may be then and within that time frame you give them a call and they don't answer the phone so you keep calling them and they don't answer the phone so you pull up to the location where you said you were going to meet them at and they don't answer the phone So, I cuss you the fuck out, I'm wrong, though. Like, if I cuss you out, I'm wrong. I Like, I like I hate inconsiderate people. Like, if you know somebody's on the way or you already have plans or... In this case, we supposed to switch our cars. Why you just didn't leave the key to the car in the car? So, I could have just gave you this car. Because now, I'm irritated because I was on a time schedule... Because I still have to be back out to Macomb by 2 o'clock, as I told y'all already, to switch out, you know, to the, the dealership is coming to bring me a loaner and they picking up my car. So now, I'm off my time schedule. It's now 12.14. I still have to go to Taylor. I still have not eaten today. I'm sick. I don't have any tissue. I have to pee. I'm so irritated, y'all. Like, I'm so irritated. Like, I, like I, sometimes humans, like, particularly this one, I, like, I, I can't. I just can't. But, yeah, that's all. I just was giving y'all an update on how my day going. It's turning into shit. Whatever. I'll see y'all in a minute. Uh, y'all, we got the car. We got to leave. Y'all, this hat is so tight on my head, it's giving me a headache. So, like, I gotta ride around like this. <laughs> because my hair hurts so bad. So, to top things off with the situation with me, as far as, like, waiting for the car, I finally got the car. So, now I'm on my way to my next destination, and my phone is dead. <laughs> and I need the GPS to get me there. And the thing about iPhones and car chargers, they take forever to turn back on. So I don't know if the phone is gonna be back on in time for me to get to where I need to be. So I'm just like headed that way, obviously still. Uh, I'm just like like headed that way, obviously, because I, like, I still have to get there. So I do know like it's like on beach daily somewhere. But, <clears throat> oof, but I don't, 
I don't know the address. So, yeah. So, that's it. So, I just wanted to get y'all an update. So, you know, it's going from shit to shitter. To the shittiest. I feel horrible. I'm starving. I am going to, when the phone cut on, I'm going to call the dealership and let them know that they need to come at 2.30 and not 2 o'clock. Because I will definitely be late because I think it's like one, uh, like one o'clock now or something. And then, oh, let's let's top this off. Let, let, me, let me top you off with this one. Guess who just called me and said, oh, I could have just brought the car to the house because I'm leaving work now. I, I told you that. So you think I would have drove an hour away? To pick up the car if you would have told me that you was leaving work no i would have just came to my best friend's house i mean not her house <laughs> i would have just came to my best friend's office like i promised her to at 11 i would have been there at 12 or like 11 45 ish and i would have been done i would have been completely finished and i would have been back home by one o'clock like, cause I'm only going in just to take pictures so I can get an idea of like how I want to design it. And then like, like literally that's it. So yeah. So uh, like why he decided to call and tell me that it's beyond me because that just like pissed me off even more. But it is what it is. So yeah. See y'all. Situations will arrive. You doing your homework? Y'all, all right. <sighs> Look, my phone died. I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm home. I'm laying on the couch. I'm sorry that the vlog did not end right. <laughs> Tomorrow, it'll be right. But I'm sticking to my word, posting every day. So I'm just going to put it out there. It, it is what it is. I will see y'all tomorrow. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace.